My name is Bongo Makale. I just finished my one year internship. And today I want to actually tell my story and tell how and what actually did I learn in this past year in fully committing to electrical engineering. I want to actually start my story from the beginning. Um, I'm actually surprisingly a, a university dropout student. I just really struggled in that kind of setting and then I didn't want to give up so I pursued it through like a native course which is designed very weirdly or very differently but uh, today I'm going to actually tell the story and tell what did, yeah, what did I learn and what did I overcome. Now how did I overcome? Originally I studied sound engineering. It's not necessarily graduated but I was able to work myself up as to be a full sound engineer and I actually did songs and stuff like that for a lot of artists, a lot of major artists in my area but I felt the need to study sound engineering much much deeper like especially knowing how speakers work and how, know how microphones work and everything like that. So I pursued electrical engineering. Obviously I had pressure on my parents side to learn something that's actually going to bring money to the table and I can become a, a, a full adult and learn what I have to do. So I st studied uh, electrical engineering. Now where I studied through college, we did the Nated course. Now with Nated, three month course per level. So you have from level one to level six and it's just theoretical. That's all you're going to get. You're just going to learn how to learn maths. You're going to learn science. You're going to learn your majors. Like what I chose, was, which was industrial electronics, mechano which was a lot of a little bit of a, what I really wanted to do was actually a little bit of both of electrical engineering with a little bit of mechanical engineering so I could understand how uh, obviously how motors work, how to connect motors from AC and DC motors and uh, electrical stuff. Well, actually what I really wanted to focus on was electronics. And another thing that made it a little bit difficult was that where I stay or in my, my hometown is that there is a huge line of people trying to get into mining. And once they get into mining, it, it was a it was a mess it was a difficult to get in not a lot of job opportunities not a lot of internships or apprenticeships they, they were they were taking at the time but in my class there was like a, a thousand something of us uh in the in the in the, in the school uh, doing the faculty studying that and out of that in a year uh our mine would probably take maybe five to ten students so it would be extremely difficult to get in so for about a year or two, I was stuck at home, They're still pursuing sound engineering, still pursuing music. But um, this year, earlier this year in January, I decided to be like, okay, look, I'm just gonna go somewhere. I'm gonna just drop off my CV. So I went to a little place called TV Mecca where they do electronic repairs. So repairs to PCBs, uh, TVs, especially audio. And I was lucky enough to get uh, that position because I had a, a little bit of, actually a lot of sound experience where I worked, I've worked with, uh, CDJs, I've worked with uh, mixers, I've worked with big amplifiers, small amplifiers, hi-fis and etc etc in terms of using them not necessarily like fixing them, repairing them or building them and I came there with my N5 slash N6 and I was like look I really need to do my uh, apprenticeship please guys can you take me and I was lucky enough that they decided to take me I don't know why because <laughs> when I had my uh, interview i really think I, I i stuffed it up i honestly i honestly stuffed it up because all i knew was from what the book told me and what you tried to apply from the book and you want to apply it to in a in a in a world sense or in a working sense it's very difficult and it was very difficult for me to grasp my what i have learned to that but working over there i had really good mentors who taught me uh, critical thinking who taught me how to uh, to do things for myself and to 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 basically work around I didn't really have a, a, a boss working over there but <laughs> every day we would have our log uh, our what you call job cards looked at and correct and stuff but I was basically my own boss I had to uh, come up with solutions for um, PCBs and try to figure out how to repair them um, we're looking through data, sheet, uh, data sheets every day and trying to figure out how do certain components work and how to um, troubleshoot them, how to um, repair microprocessors and how to repair a lot of things from power supplies and all that, etc, etc. Uh, so basically the, the position that I had was an audio technician where, like I said, we would repair things from sound stuff. That's what I mostly did. So I would um, repair microphones, I would repair um, 
huge amplifiers, small amplifiers, hi-fis, DVD players, and all this weird stuff while my uh, boss would take care of the, the really big things with the TVs. And every now and again, he'll show us how some of the TVs work and what we need to get and stuff like that. But me coming in there from the Nated, I honestly knew nothing. I knew absolutely bupkis because, like I said, we had no practical skills. I had just theoretical. All I knew from the book, which was shady at best like it was so basic that i did not know how to do rc um filters i did not know how to uh bias a transistor or anything like that i knew what it was but i didn't know how to do it so when i got there the first thing they taught me to do was soldering and desoldering components on the board without delaminating it from the pcb or um basically not stuffing it up taking it in and out stuff like that and just purely from just watching them how they do it and they would uh guide me every now and then on okay this is how you do it and what tools you need to get and all that kind of stuff so my time over there was um honestly it's just spent like just learning so the day one when i got over there i had my multimeter was one of those cheap multimeters that i had when i was still doing i, I did like a practical course at like tabiso's training center uh like two years back where it was just house wiring and that's what I actually really like i knew how to do i didn't knew how to do two-way house switching i knew how to uh wire a house wire bedrooms wire lights and illuminations and stuff like that and wire air compressors refrigerators and so that's what i had uh practically knew but now I needed to move that into a more electronic sense because that's what, like I said, that's what I really wanted to do. So from there, they taught me how to, uh, first, first of all, get a proper multimeter that I can use. And I have my little baby. I actually want to make a little bit, a uh, little video about that, explaining the, uh, show you my very first multimeter versus the multimeter that I have now. By the way, I use Fluke. <laughs> but anyway, uh, and it showed me how to actually use my multimeter, the different functions from um, measuring resistances and measuring uh, in, in diode tests, uh, frequencies, temperature, uh, measuring um, capacitance, but not with ESR, but like straight up capacitance and all the functions of a, of a multimeter. I've worked with uh, different multimeters on a different day, depending on what I need to do on the application and what, should find, uh, what I'm trying to find out, how to use things like oscilloscopes to troubleshoot boards. Uh, especially in the audio sense and uh, from TVs as well, especially box TVs to find out where your signals and stuff are going and etc, etc. So in the first few months, my daily routines or my daily tasks were basically taking a PCB, uh, PCB and troubleshoot it and try to find out what caused it to go wrong and what uh, failures that happened onto that board or onto that component or onto that thing. And then uh, repair it and try to repair it in such a way that that fault doesn't come back again. So, yeah, the first few months, every day, just come in from 8 o'clock, wake up in the morning at, say, 5, 6, go through some of my notes, get in over, the, get in there, get a new uh, board that comes in or get a, a, a new product or whatever that comes in to, to our shop. And then I would open it up and I will go through systematically, try to find, figure out what's happening in the power supply and then move on to the main board or any other boards that are that I like that and try to troubleshoot it and try to find what's wrong with it, repair it and test it uh, so the fault doesn't come back and then obviously quote the uh, customer. Uh, throughout that time, uh, for the first yeah few months, it was crazy because like I said, I didn't know anything and it was mind opening to see how the, the, the senior technicians were how they operated how they did the things and how did they just for me just standing there and just watching them how they did i have learned so much uh from backlight testing on uh, tvs uh backlight um led testings with uh with different kind of instruments and stuff like that and just taking components in and off of of pcb boards and then obviously modifying it to make it work or even adding breakout boards or adding mother bo uh, different um, boards to compensate and et cetera, et cetera, uh, to the point where I have gotten to the level of being a junior uh, engineer right now. I'm still studying, obviously, uh, to obviously surpass my diploma and obviously get uh, to more and stuff. But the critical thinking and the critical skills that I got from working as a, as a technician is something that 
I highly recommend other people doing as well. The sooner you can get to uh, apprenticeship or the learnership, I rec highly recommend it to you doing it, especially if you're in the Nated course or if you're doing Nated engineering, because unfortunately, you're not going to get practicals. You're not going to get uh, lecturers who know what they're doing or know um, how to... Um, to do these very complicated things unfortunately you have to further your studies and stuff like that but learning these basic skills like soldering and uh, um, uh, testing with your multimeter becoming very good with your multimeter and your ESR meter and your oscilloscope so you can troubleshoot and repair is something that those valuable skills that I till this day would obviously use and uh, keep on using and learning the business side of it as well with electronic repair and um, selling PCBs and etc cetera, etc cetera, that the mental state and the worth it ethics that you really need to do this is something that um, you can't just wake up one day and be like ah, I'm gonna do this and then leave it and come back this is something that it honestly becomes a lifestyle and I see it uh, ever since working over there because now I'm obviously repairing over there and when i get home i study uh different products so i will pick up a data sheet of something and learn how these transistors work or how these power transistors work or i would look at circuit diagrams until two o'clock in the morning try to figure out how the power supply works so i can figure out how to travel troubleshoot it and figure out what voltages work uh, how the voltages on the board work and stuff like that um now i'm trying to move into a um more of a design approach and building uh things and building like my own amplifiers and building my own um, sound equipment, building my own um, PCBs and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And again, those are things, those are the skills that I really needed to get in this internship and to, to move forward in my life. Uh, honestly, just to say in the beginning, yeah, the pay, the pay wasn't good. It was, it was terrible. It was next to pub kiss, but I knew because it was going to further my, um, my education is going to further my skills that I was like, look, I'm going to take this and I'm going to do it and I'm going to make it a part of me instead of having this thing where it's just like, this is something I studied and I did not know what to do with it. So I'm going to put it in the back burner until something opens up. And unfortunately, it, it ne nothing did open up for it. I never got into the learnerships at the mines. I never did anything at the mines. I never, I wasn't even interested in doing things in the mines because before working at TV Mecca, I worked at uh, Armature World, where I was an uh, armature winder, and I really hated the, what you call, the factory settings and uh, the factory environment and working with uh, people like that uh, in the factory. It, in my opinion, it was dangerous. I ended up doing things that weren't electrical at all. I was busy welding. I was busy um, doing very mechanical stuff and i was asking the people when i when i when i especially the boss at the time when i worked there i'm like look this is something that what i wanted to do was electrical work and do um electronics over here and you guys told me that and unfortunately it, it wasn't the case it ended up being uh just a, a general worker for five months five six months over there so i ended up leaving um leaving the area and moving on to something that was a little bit better at TV maker at least from there that was something that I was interested in learning and was willing to put in the hours and put in the work to learn that those skills to get um, into that but this video that I was trying to make is just something that to inspire people who are doing the native course and who are um, still trying to figure out if this is something that they want to do any education is is good don't don't let education or don't let people tell you that ah, you can figure out your way do it learn it so you can become better so you can learn things that obviously other people don't know and you can implement it and to do it another in, in your own way and obviously become better of yourself so um yeah that's actually my story so far till um some january till now i'm currently still working at tv maker i still enjoy the, the the work that i do there with the repairs and everything but now on my own on my own free time i'm learning things like um uh, programming Arduinos. I'm learning embedded systems on my own. I'm learning digital systems on my own and designing PCBs and uh, designing PCBs and designing different um, products on my own. Hopefully that one day that um, maybe I can start my own company or maybe I can start our own st uh, startup or meet up with other engineers or other people who are 
the same um has the same mentality as me and when it comes to um the the production of products and the production of different um electrical systems and so on and so forth but yeah to end this video off just to let you guys know that yes uh engineering is actually fun it's really fun it's more fun after when you actually start implementing it and actually doing it than you're studying it's studying is going to be a, a drag it's going to be it's going to be hell you're gonna you're not gonna sleep you're not gonna have friends you're not gonna have time to go out or do any of that you're gonna kiss all of that goodbye when you're gonna fully do engineering but once you get into it and start like pursuing it as a passion that's when things are gonna start opening up for you and all of that and yeah i would like to end over there and move on i just want to remind you guys that uh now my videos on youtube on this channel on my ultra music productions i'm going to really focus a lot on um electronic stuff and electrical stuff plus with the music and try to merge both of them together on this channel so yes i'm still going to do tutorials on how to um record mix and master but then i'm going to actually really get technical inside all of them and gonna what you call really explain the things in depth and in, in terms of the engineer time uh, side of ways maybe put also down in the comment section what kind of videos would you like me to make would you like me to make videos uh maybe something starting something very simple like uh, uh soldering and or basic uh um uh, wiring for cables or so on or you want me to, uh, to start straight up to talk about electronics like how resistors works how capacitance works how diodes and etc work and we can work our way up to making boards i also want to give a shout out as well my uh design for my uh amplifier 5-watt amplifier finally came in i am using a if i can remember a tda something 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 but uh it's a bit of a, like an op amp um up amp driver pre-driver with a tda uh, amplifier just to push it with the extra current and whatnot whatnot so forth so whatever whatever we're gonna we're gonna make a full video about that so we're gonna talk about um building an amplifier and seeing how we can make amplifiers with op amps and uh transistors and all of that stuff but guys i will check you in the next video thank you for tuning in with me and i hope you stay blessed peace